Hi, everyone. We're going to shoot a video today of a session working on surrender, which is one of the hardest things to do, although it's so simple. And when we can get into that space, like everything just flows. Um, you don't get triggered as easy. Like you just go with the flow. You're, you're, whether you realize it or not, you're receiving inspiration and following through, right? That's that flow. But we tend to get caught up on the things that show up in our life and then pulls us out of that. So I know I've done a few sessions for myself on surrender. I feel like I could use another one, <laughs> but I'm going to work now with um, Marianne on, on that topic. So Marianne, what can you say about what it is you want to work on surrender for? Well, uh, it's interesting. Just It seems just when I get to a, a point in my life that I say, wow, how blessed I am, uh, something comes swinging in, uh, whether it's family related or um, this morning, just to give you, for instance, my grandson sends me a post and says, look, look what house is up for sale. And it's my house in Ramsey that I redid in the country club. And it's at a, a price point that's pretty attractive, but it's, but I'm just getting adjusted finally to my new way of life. You know, it's taken between COVID and everything else. The COVID affected everybody, just about everybody. And, and in my new life, it affords me a lot of flexibility and that's becoming more and more comfortable. And I'm, recreating my life because I left so many people in Florida and so many activities and now I'm filling that back in I'm joining the friends of the library I'm doing poetry reading I go to a sing-along every Tuesday night open mic I'm filling in my social but it's it was a huge a group of people to replace in terms of of my social life um and my social life is a big part of my life um, and which, so then which started in Ramsey, but then you went to Florida, rebuilt the same thing and back. Rhode Island, Rhode Island yeah, and yeah. rebuilt. So, uh, you know, Rhode Island, Rhode Island is, has, there are the people and the, the environment lent itself because of so many universities and being a small state, it lent, lent itself to more intellectual pursuits which were very satisfying. Uh, Sarasota lent itself both to intellectual, but a lot of group you know, social things, which are fun for the most mm -hmm. part. And, um, you know, and plus you're at the same time I'm aging, you don't, you're, you're trying to have a lifestyle similar to the lifestyle you always had. So there's, and sometimes you can, and sometimes you can't. It's just part of life life yeah. evolves and it changes and then you have to adapt and sometimes you feel more adaptable more happy and other times you think well what what am i really doing with my life am i fulfilling it am i living to my optimum should i be doing more uh, so, uh, social work should i be you know i was in philadelphia this weekend with family and that was very sweet um weddings are always great and um, it's interesting because because I live with someone who is still very actively engaged in her work environment, and mm -hmm. although she's re she's adapting it now, um, so many things have opened up in her life. Which, by the way, she shares with me. I, I am a part of that, so I get the benefit of some incredible opportunities that have happened in her life. She shares with me because we live together and she feels strongly that I, that I'm a part. As a matter of fact, her daughter put in a bit on a new house in Palm beach last night. I overheard her talk to her mom and she said, and I, I, I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky. I don't know how this happened in my life. You know, she's looks like she's going to enter into a marriage with a man of great wealth. Who's also a wonderful person and human being. And they've known for years and she said to her mother, and I want to include Marianne. And so I, I really am included as part of their family. Yeah. But at, at the same time, 
I have my own family. <laughs> you know, I have another family, which is my family. And um, and that's working to a certain degree. Um, they they do not have access. They're living their best lives. And that's a good thing. So I weave in, in and out a very two different types of lifestyles, both good, but, but very different. Yeah. So some, sometimes I won't say it's not a, a conflict as much as a confusion. So oh. a bit of confusion for me. So you um, kind of want to get more into that space of being able to just allow what is going to be to be without maybe getting stuck in your head and yes, you know, analyzing every little bit of it and what's best and where do I go and is this good and you know all of that exactly. these changes. Um, but you can have and you kind of do have the best of all of it. Well, yes, and it that's true. Yeah. And so then I say to myself, okay, then why am I not feeling super duper? But when I go to my rosary group, if I give it to God, I do. Mm -hmm. Just give it to God. So if there's ambiguity, I give it to God. Yeah. And then in doing that, uh, but listen, a couple of weeks ago, I got hit with my first case of vertigo. Okay. Oh, Holy mackerel, Andy. I didn't know what the hell. The room was spinning. And I was like, what? 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 Uh, eventually, each day got better. First couple of days were brutal. But then each day got better. Uh, and I wasn't sure if it was, I had started retaking the weight loss medicine. So they told me to stop it. Um, so I've been trying to be very conscientious because I need to lose 15 pounds, which is modest considering. I think I really need to lose a lot more, but in order to qualify for knee surgery to be paid for by my insurance. So I've been working on that. I was seeing specialists in Ridgewood. First, we have to fix my foot and then we can fix my knee. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about resuming what I think will be my ability to make decisions, not worried about, can I walk to that that far? Can I do that? It'll just be part of, it's part of things I will be able to do. Okay. So there's a, there's a bunch of things going on in your life in like all areas. So that's, so we, what we want to work on today is just being able to be in that kind of surrender space where you allow all the pieces to fall where they fall. I mean, yes. it doesn't mean that you don't do and create and help along things, but it's doing it from this space that I know everything works out. I know I have, like when you go and you do, and you pray, you feel that opening that backing like oh yeah i am supported everything's good yes. but that's the nitty-gritty of the day-to-day -day and you're like well what the heck am i doing yeah. now yeah. <laughs> right. so we want to try and see pull whatever energies that prevent you from just holding that space throughout all these different changes that you're experiencing all right, right. so i think that's what we'll work on today and um i'm going to share my screen all right so can you see everything on my screen yes mm-hmm yeah, so I kind of wrote that the focus is like to um, surrender to God, the angels and your guides to lead you without resistance, because mm -hmm. that would actually make everything flow a whole lot easier. Right. And that's right. The, I mean, that's my goal. And I can be in that space, but then I can be out of that space. Right. And I don't want to have to work at getting back in. I want to be able to just flow with that. Okay, you pop out, you pop back in, like just have this easy kind of way of always returning to that space, knowing that, you know, you're covered. You've got all this support and spirit and, and it's working with you. Right. Um, so let's just dive in and we'll see. We don't know if we're going to be taken to um, belief code. We could be, but we'll just start with body code. Um, I just want to take a moment of silence. Just really call in all the energies that are here to work with us. I want to make sure I'm testing as Marianne. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So I can test for you, Marianne. And um, let's dive in. You ready? Ready. All right. Great. So are we on the right? Not the left is the energy. Oh, look at that. We're starting with a toxin today. Okay. You never know where body code's going to take you. Uh, to the right, not left, dental, biological, food. No, it's, so it's a drug toxin. Uh, recreational, pharmaceutical. 
right, left, Medicaid. So some kind of over-the-counter medicine. Uh, is this energetic? So it's energetic. So it's not like it's in your system right now and causing problems. Um, is there anything we need to know, understand about this toxin? Anything at all? No. Okay, association. So let's just wipe out the toxin. And, you know, you can swipe with me if you want. We're just going to release this energy, lifting it, sending it to the light. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, so that's released. Can I bring up a question? Sure. I had just started Rebelsis again. I had had used it before and it worked very well, but I hadn't taken it in a couple of months. And then I got the vert. I took the Rebelsis and that's when I got the vertigo and the upset stomach for two days. Did that, was that the cause of it or did, was it just... I don't, they had me stop taking the medicine, but I had been taking it in the spring for, for a couple of weeks. I had no problems with it and I was losing weight. Um, can you tell whether I, the rebeltus, it was the issue? Let, you want to know if that's what caused the vertigo? Right. So, okay, so we'll ask if that particular drug caused the vertigo. No. No. I something think... totally separate. Yes. Yeah, something totally separate. They're not, they're not together. I thought so. Okay. Okay, so, so we released that. So let's go find something else. Right, left. So now we're in energy. On the right, no, on the left. Push right. So it's in the mental category. All right, left. A broadcast message. So we'll find out what that is. Some kind of message that you're sending out there, you know, unconsciously, just sending this message out. It's not going to be supportive. So let's find it and release it. Uh, would it be an A and B? It's in C. Is it odd? It's even two. And so in C2, is it disregard me, disrespect me, don't look at me, don't trust me, fight me, <laughs> fight me energy. All right. So fight me energy is going to take you out of that surrender space for sure. Right. Because it's it's calling in that kind of energy. Yeah. Um, so is there something we need to know, understand where this came about, how this got trapped, anything like that? No. Uh, associations no okay so we're just gonna wipe it out now for people watching i find and i've worked with marianne a lot uh you might even you can even see she had a testimonial that was on video that you can find on my channel um okay so that's released so she knows how this works and i find that when i work with people who have done a lot of sessions with me it's like the subconscious mind is like if i ask you know anything associated to this anything we need to know it's always no 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 just get rid of it <laughs> it's like I mean, for me too, I hardly ever have to decode anything. It's just wipe it out, wipe it out, wipe it out. So we'll see what happens today. We might have to dive into something. We'll see. So what do we have more? Yes. So is it right? It's left. It's also energy. Something right? No, left. Offensive? No. So it's mental. On the right, on the left, will to no. So we have another broadcast message. Okay. What do we have this time? Um, a, so it's B. It's, uh, no, it's even two, four, six. So in B6, is it? They disrespect me. No, they don't care. They hate me. They hurt me. Why me? All right. So that's very common, right? And I mean, you might have been feeling that way when the room was spinning. Why? <laughs> Why me? Why is this <laughs> happening? All right. So do we need to know any details about it? No. Is there something associated? No. All right. So let's just wipe this one out, right? Just getting rid of the why me energy releasing oh that feels good a little goosey here <sighs> all right okay it's not released yes good all right what else are we going to find uh right left also energy right side allergy emotional so it's a reverberation right some energy that's just like ringing out there uh right side no left seeking heart current symptom not a sickness memory It could be anything from any time in your life. Do we need to know details about the sickness memory? No. Is there something that's associated to this? No. Let's wipe it out. I mean, if you want to ask something, you know, you can always do that, right? Can you check if it's this? Yeah. Like you just did before. So if you ever feel like doing that, we'll do that. All right. What else now? Right. Left. Energy again. Right side. Allergy or intolerance. Right again, idea allergy. All right, so some idea that your system's like, eh, 
we want to get it back co corrected to where you can be okay with this idea that we find. Um, is it in A, in B, it's in C, it's odd. Okay, so is it one, three, five, seven, no, five, C, five. Is it to using and discovering your talents? No. To joy or to happiness? No. Confidence? No. Fulfillment? No. Progress? Okay, passion, progress. All right, well, mm. that could make sense, right? Yep. Um, any details about how this, where this energy came from, how it came about? No. Associations to it? No. All right, so we get to wipe out, or not wipe out, we just get to correct this mm -hmm. idea. Yeah. Progressing, right? Which is, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. let's, let's do it. Let's be there. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's release. That felt good. All right, what else? Uh, right, no left, energy, circuit systems. All right, what are we going to find here? To the right, uh -uh. left, disconnection, not something in the system. Uh, right, uh -uh. left, integumentary, urinary, skeletal, muscular, respiratory, yes, reproductive. Okay, so something here in the respiratory system needs a reset. Uh, would it be right, no left, alveoli, uh, bronchial, bronchial to larynx at the back of your throat, right? Uh, why am I not spelling that correct? Okay, larynx. Have you had any anything with that? Difficulty singing, speech, discomfort in the throat. Anything going on with that that you know no. that you're aware of? No, uh, uh, no. It's it's interesting though. I I do open mic on Thursday nights, and I and I want to take a singing lesson and sit and practice a song. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I want to get around to doing that. All right. So let's clear whatever this energy is that could potentially get in the way. Um, but let's just see. Is there is there something we need to know and understand about this one? Associations. No. All right. So we're going to reset the larynx. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay. Very good. <laughs> All right. Let's reset. Okay, good. Got it. All right. What else? Um, right. No. Left. Energy. Oh, back to a toxin. We have another toxin here. To the right. Uh -huh. Left. Is it dental? Biologic. Now it's a food toxin. Right side, is it preservative, GMO, some kind of nutritional additive? All right, so, you know, do we need to know specifics about this additive? No. Uh, anything we need to know about this? No. Is there something associated? No. All right, so let's just release this toxin, this nutritional additive. You know, and it's in everything. <laughs> in processed foods and rich flowers, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah. And, release. and most of the time we process these things out, but I guess if, you know, if our energies if we're in a lower vibration, we can pull these things in. All right. Now, something more. Yes. So is it right? It's left. It's energy. No. Circuit. Another toxin. Okay. Let's get, let's clear them all out. Right side. Heavy metal excess. So EMF. Now we have EMF toxin. And there's a variety of those. Uh, it's right side. Magnetic field. Radio frequency. All right. And so what does it tell us about that? Cell phones, smart meters, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Yeah, like so it's everywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think we need no understand decode around this. No. Is there something associated? No. All right. So let's release this toxin. Whatever radio frequency toxin this is, let it make go thank you thank you thank you and that's released okay, very good something more yes right no left energy to the right no to the left post-traumatic okay something post-traumatic uh recovery no so it's on the left is it fit some physical emotional shock Now, let's see if we need to know. Do we need to know details on this? No. Something associated? No. Uh, is this something more recent? No. All right. So it's something from a while ago. Uh, you know, could have to do with the sale of your house and all those different things we've touched on at times, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we don't need to know the story, so we'll just release it. 
Yeah. Okay. So let's get rid of this physical emotional shock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of yawning there. Okay. So that's released. Okay. What else do we have? Right side. Is it a pathogen? Some kind of nutrition or lifestyle thing? All right. No, on the left. Oh, sleep. Okay. So we're going to reset your sleep. But is there anything we need to know and understand about what's going on here? Anything at all? No. Uh, is there something associated to this? No. So we just got to do a reset. All right. So let's reset your sleep. Have you noticed any difficulty with sleeping lately? I always have. Did I, although I slept till after 11 today, I got up and used the ladies room and somehow got up at 11. Okay. I'm shocked. Um, well, we reset that. Um, uh, it, it had me burping all over the place. So there's some energy there. We let it go. Now, something else. Yes. Right. No, left. Energy. Okay. We're bouncing around today. We'll get into the experience a lot of the body code today. Something, <laughs> something left. Sometimes we're like in one category a lot, right? But we're moving around. Right side, left side, post-traumatic. Is it offensive? No, nope, we're in mental. Right side, memory field. No, ooh, programming. So where are we going to go here? Is it an image? Despair anchor. So it's a single belief. We could have had a belief code, but right now it's, it's a single belief. You know, the, a statement that your system believes is true. Belief. Okay, so when do we have six of those? So is it in A, B? It's in B. Is it odd? No, it's even. It's two. So in B2, I'll be rejected. No, I'll never be accepted. I'll never be forgiven. <laughs> I'm a fool. This one always makes me laugh. I'm a fool. There's some I'm a fool energy going out there. And, you know, that could be like you're just beating up on yourself or something. Who knows what it is, right? Yeah. Do we need to know the details about this? No, we don't, right? Association is not. So let's just get rid of this I'm a fool message or energy or belief that is just kind of there, right? I want to free you up from that. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right. Said goodbye to that one. Uh, right side, pathogen, nutrition, and lifestyle. Okay. Uh, right side, nutrition. Ah, so we're probably going to get some kind of, this is kind of weird, I have to say, because we really truly are all over the place on this. Mm -hmm. So it could just be. Maybe your thing with surrender is just these random energies that are kind of just in the way. You yeah, know? That, because you're hitting on all the things that uh, that I question in my own life. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we get in nutrition here. Uh, something right and the left, a nutrient. So a superfood. So it's going to suggest a superfood to add to your diet. All right. Let's see what we come up with. Uh there, it does say they're generally high in most of all of the following antioxidants, good fats, fiber, cytochemicals, vitamins, minerals. Okay. They all have a, their own unique vibration. So let's see which one you're being suggested. Would it be in A? No, we're looking in B. Is it A? No, it's even. So is it two? No, it's four. Number four. So do we need to add for you coconut? No. Coconut water? No. Uh, goju berry? No. Grapefruit, no. Kiwi, mango, mango seed, kiwi. So it's being suggested that you would benefit from getting kiwi, kiwi, eating kiwi. I don't know if there's supplements where kiwi is introduced in it, but somehow you need to get the the um, properties of the kiwi into your diet. Do you like kiwi? Yeah. Okay. I don't That's usually eat it unless, I, I don't even know how to, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fruit eater. So, uh -huh. so uh, you know, obviously we can get it from the fruit, but maybe there's some kind of supplements that have that in into it. So you can do a little research on that. Yeah, I will. So we're just getting to add kiwi. All right. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Where to next? Somewhere on the right, not on the left. So now we're back at energy. <laughs> okay. Right side, left side. Post-traumatic, is it offensive? No, something in the mental area. Okay, something right, no left. So there's a will to. All right, this will to energy is somehow mucking up the works from you just being 
able to be in surrender, return to surrender with ease, right? So what is this will to? Would it be an A? It is. Is it odd? It's even. Is it two, four, six? So A6, is it the will to prove something or someone wrong? No. To punish or to harm others? No. To abuse? No. To eliminate? The will to eliminate. So what is that? Eliminate something good that you don't need to? I don't, I'm not really sure. Does it strike you in any way? Um, now, if you have to think, if you have to think that hard, it doesn't. <laughs> all right. So whatever this is all about, this will to eliminate, is there something we need to know about where and how this came about? Anything to know here? No. Something associated to it? No. I thought we might get a little bit of the story, but we're not. So um, can we just release this? Yeah. Will to eliminate. Okay. Let's let it go. You know, maybe you're eliminating um yourself from receiving good things in some way i don't know like we'd have to dive into that but i want to keep going with everything else and not spend time decoding that since we didn't need to mm -hmm. your subconscious mind is like no nah, keep going keep going okay so we got that we release the will to eliminate eliminate where to okay right left energy on the right, no, on the left. Post traumatic, is it offensive? No, it's mental. Right, no, left, will to, a no will to. Okay. Maybe this tells the opposite side of the story here. Let's see what it comes to that. All right, is this time, are we looking in A? No, so it's B. Is it on? It's even. So is it two, four? No, it's six. So is it no will to obey? No. To be powerful. All right. Now, if you're in your power, we easily go into surrender, right? Yeah. So let's get rid of this will to be, no will to be power, but powerful. But is there something we need to know about how this came about, when it came about, anything like that? No. Is there something associated? Uh uh. All right. So let's just eliminate, right? Mm -hmm. There's no will to be powerful. <sighs> oh, yep. Okay. I'm kind of getting, well, we could just do it down. Let's just do a download to, um, to counteract that. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to see what spirit wants to send in. So yeah, obviously it's, um, oh, okay. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's release any vows, oaths, or decisions you may have ever made in your entire existence that would um, forbid you and prevent you to just really, truly be in your power, be that true energy that you are, tapping into all of your abilities and just using that power in the most in best ways, highest ways for you. So anything that prevents you from being that, right, throughout your history where you've kind of cut that off. We want to let go of that energy because that could be holding that in place, right? So let's just get rid of that. Let's also release all the energetic, mental, emotional ties to all of the times when you did not allow yourself to stand in your power, to be your power, to step into your power, to create whatever it was that was, whatever was going on there. So let's just let that come. All right, good. And let's just do a quick download, right? Just to download into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all timelines, all aspects of you. Just really downloading, holding in what it feels like to be in your power, to stand in your power, that it's safe to be in your power, to utilize that power, that innate power that is within you, that connection that you have to the creator. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. So all right, so we got all of that. So we 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 downloaded, I'm just gonna say being in your power. And we also did vows, oaths, decisions, and energetic ties. Okay, I think that's what we did. Yeah. All right, so how are you feeling? Good. I think I think a lot of you know, in doing some astrology work, Elaine is a Leo and I'm, I'm very much in Libra. 
And so, and my father was a Leo and Orn was a Leo. Um, but I think I'm reaching a point in my life where what my basic nature is, which is really pleasant, it's non-confrontational, um, is allowed to really pour forth in a way that I didn't feel. I only felt that way a couple of times in my life. And now I'm reaching a point where I can, I, it's like really being yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm so, saying? So you're saying you can be that more now? Yeah. Okay. It took some work. Yeah. It, it took some work. It really did. But yeah, because <laughs> yeah, at this stage of my life, I really, I, I have, I have no interest in confrontation. Just, I have no, there's just nothing. But, but being powerful doesn't mean it has to be concentration, uh, confrontation, confrontation. I can't even say the word. <laughs> but the interesting thing is anytime I would step into my power, it, it seems it always has been in a situation that was confrontational. Okay. So, so maybe there's some energy running that that's the only time it's allowed, right? And yes. we want to be able yes. to see in your that's power. That's exactly whatever right. It is that you're creating. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Right. So, so, so let's do, let's, let's then download. Um, so we did being in your power, but let, there's a conflict in within me of being in my power and get giving and not feeling that I'm giving in that I'm surrendering who I am. Okay. And, and I think I'm, uh, if that's where the past couple of years have been a conference, you know, it's kind of like that, but now I'm feeling Elaine said to me one day, you know, the problem with you is you're not confrontational enough. I said, well, that's not who I am. So when I checked, you know, when I talked to the therapist about it, the, the psychic, she said, it's not your nature, your nature. You're, you're so much in Libra that you, you, you function as someone who just really doesn't want confrontation, doesn't look for it. You know, you're, you're, that's okay. not who you are. So now that we brought up all this energy around it, let's see what else needs to be released around that. Because the downloads are, you know, being in your power, at least mm -hmm. from my heart, as that energy is coming through, it's about being the creator. Yes. And being yeah. in that power. Mm -hmm. So, it, so I'm, the message I'm getting is, no, we don't need to do any more downloads or anything like that. It's just now let's call up any other energies that have you even question that do I have to be in that confrontation or somebody else's suggestion mm -hmm. uh, in order to stand in your power. Why can't, why can't you, the, the true power is love. Exactly. Art. And that's where I'm most comfortable. Yeah. Okay, good. That's good. So we want to stay there. So anything that, that pulls you out of that space is what the, the, the surrender thing is all about, right? Cause when we're in that space and coming from our heart, we can be and allow things to be. Right, because mm -hmm. we're just trust. It's all from my highest good. <laughs> Till the mind gets stuck into it all, right? So, okay, let's. So, with all that energy, it's good. Like, there's always conversation that comes up just to bring more energy to the surface, so we can uncover the things that would prevent you from really, truly just living through your heart and being in that surrender space. Mm -hmm. But where do we go next? Something more here? Yeah. Uh, right side, no left. Energy circuits, toxin, toxin. Yeah, we're all we're really all over the place today. Right side, no, left, dental, biological, food toxin. Okay. Right side, preservative, GMO, so a food coloring. Okay, toxin. You know, it could be anything, pastries, desserts, uh, ice cream, food, sauces. Um, let's just do food, uh, food coloring. Okay, let's see what this tells us here. Yeah, beverages, candies, ice creams, bakery products, sauces, processed foods. So anything we need to know, understand, decode around this particular food coloring toxin. No. Associations, no. All right, let's just clear the energy of the food coloring. Letting it go. <sighs> okay, release. 
I just had a, a, an image of those little uh, Sour Patch Kids or whatever. I mean, those are all food coloring. Yeah, right? yeah, sure. Sugar food coloring, whatever. Uh, anyway, released. Okay, so we got that. Something more we can do. Yeah. Uh, so we haven't gone into like a belief code. So it looks like maybe today we're just going to be getting all these random energies out of the way. I'll see what happens. Okay, something right and the left. Uh, energy circuits toxin another toxin Ooh, all right right side heavy metal excess so some more emf all right no left dirty electricity electrical field oh, they're all over the place right <laughs> there's a whole list so anything we need to know, understand, decode around this. No. Association. No, so let's just wipe out this EMF energy. Because remember, it's all just blocks of energy, balls yep. of energy, mucking up the works, interfering with the flow. So we release that. Yes. All right. All right. Something more here. So to the right, not to the left. Energy. Oh, circuits and systems. Let's see where this takes us. On the right side, organ, gland. No, energy body. So, is there something to the right? No, to the left. Spirit body. We're going to do a reset of your spirit body. Okay. Uh, anything we need to know about this, though? No. Associations? No. So, okay. So, let's just reset spirit body. <sighs> really expanding that energy out, making it nice and light and bright and beautiful. All right. Good. We got that. Reset. All right, something more we can do is a yes. Um, let me just ask, okay, because I don't want the, the video to go on forever and ever. You kind of just giving people the idea of yeah, how a session goes. So we might stop recording soon, but let me just see what it says about um, how far into all that we're working out, pulling up these energies that prevent you from just being in that surrender space. Are we more than 50% complete with this? Yes, or more than 50%. Are we more than 60? 60, yes. Or more than 70? Okay, more than 80. Wow, more than 90? Yeah, so we're almost done. Yes, okay. Are we more than 95? No, so somewhere between 90 and 100, 90 and 100. All right, so we'll just keep going then because it, it shouldn't be all that much more. We might as well do the whole thing. But if we were going to be 50%, I would have like ended it now. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just put a little marker here that we're at 90%. Okay, so where where else to go? Somewhere right? No, left energy, yes. Is it right? No, it's left, post-traumatic, offensive. No, it's mental. On the right, no, on the left, will to. So there's a no will to, another no will to. In A, no, it's B, is it odd? It's evens, two, four. B, four, is it no will to be seen? Oh, look at that. To be healed or healed, to be healthy, to be seen. Ah, well, let's get that out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> no will to be seen. Is there something we need to know about, like any what happened, how this came about, anything we need to know? No, see so your subconscious mind's like, no, just do it. Uh, is there something associated to it? No. Okay, so we're just going to release the no will to be seen hey you want to be able to be seen in that karaoke place doing it yep <laughs> uh, was it karaoke or was it a singing course what was it it's a singing course uh, but uh, then there's open mic thursday uh, okay. tuesday night open mic. that's what it was okay so mm -hmm. we released this all right well maybe that opens up even more fun there yep okay something more yes okay right left energy on the right, allergy, emotion, reverberation, okay. Right side, no. Left, seeking heart, a current symptom, no, sickness memory. Anything to decode here? No. Associations? No. Wipe it out. Okay. Let's get rid of this sickness memory. <laughs> okay. Feels good. It's released. Something more, yeah, still something more. Right, left, right, left, a current symptom. 
Oops. Okay, so something we need to know about. Something we need to know about. Okay, so current symptoms, we talked about the year before. How recent was that? The what? The, 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 the uh, I said years, but you had the vertigo. Oh, that, that I still have it. It's, it comes and goes. Okay. So let's just ask, because that's the first thing that's popping in. I know you have some, you know, the knee you mentioned or different yeah. things. Like and the foot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is this current symptom, is it directly related to, is it the vertigo? Yeah. Okay, good. That'd be a good thing to uh, release on yeah. that. Now, <laughs> is there something, something more we need to know than just knowing that it has to do with vertigo? Anything else we need to know about that? No. Is there something that's associated? Okay. Well, we have an association with this. So let's see what the associate association is before we can uh, release the symptom. Where do we find it? To the right? No, to the left. In energy. Okay. Right, no, left. Post-traumatic, uh, offensive. So something mental. Uh, right side. Memory field. Ah, how nice. There's a memory field that's connected to this vertigo, right? Do we need to know details about the particular memory? Anything we need to know? No, we don't need to know. Okay. Is there something associated? No. All right. So anything associated? No. So it ends there. We're just going to release now this memory field and then the vertigo. Okay. We don't know the details, but somehow this memory is directly connected to the vertigo. Okay, good. So we release the memory. Now we want to just get rid of that current symptom of vertigo. All right, and that's released. Okay. Okay. Let's ask. Let's get some more space here. Okay, is there something more? Yeah, something more. Uh, on the right, no, on the left. In energy. Okay. Right side, no, left side. Post traumatic, offensive, no, mental. Okay. Right side, memory field, programming. Okay, an image, no. So a despair anger, another single belief. Okay. We look into A, B, C, odd, no, even, two, four, six, C, six, yeah, C, six. There's not enough, no. Uh, they despise me, no, they're ruining, this is too much. Okay, which is kind of similar because I think when we started, we had um, mm -hmm. why me? The, the third one down, we had the why me energy. Now we have this is too much. So do we need any details about how this one came about? No. Associations to it? No. So we can just release that. So let's release the this is too much belief, right? That you can't handle this, right? That takes you out of your power, right? So. Letting go of this is too much. Send it to the light. Give it to God. Let it go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God, for all of these releases. All right. So that's released. Okay. Is there something more? No. Are we now 100% complete? We are. So there really wasn't like a, a ton of stuff there, at least for, for right now. I mean, we've done a lot of work together, so it could be part of why. Um and you are the type that can actually get in that 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 space, especially when you and you're religious, especially when you connect to that energy. Mm -hmm. You're in it. You just pop in it, right? Some people can't do it that easily. So anyway, we just got rid of some energies that were in the way. Um, so, are you able? Are you able now to be able to just pop into surrender whenever you feel you're coming out of that? energy can you just do that yeah you should be able to just do that now are there any trapped emotions that were missed here anything like that no any associations that were missed here no so is there anything at all that could undo the work that we did today no so we're 100 percent good on this yes now how many days to process will it be more than five days no okay one two three days of processing that's it three days to process all right so how are you feeling? You know, I'm going to, I'm going to stop the screen. If you've been watching this whole time and have you, if you've made it to the end here, I would really love it if you would just like the video, share it, um, 
subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, look for more. There'll be more. I'm gonna, going to be doing two more recorded sessions on surrender. I already have permission from some, some clients that want to work on that. And uh, we'll just put it here. We'll see how, because I wanted to do, I was just going to do one. Like I sent an email out to my email list, but a bunch of people responded and I muscle tested and I'm like, no, I'm going to do these three people because it might give, you know, if someone's really interested in doing this on them for themselves, they can see how these three different people, the things that they experience. And, uh, both of those and I, it, I also think there's, um, either consciously or subconsciously, there's a feeling that if you surrender, you're, you're doing the wrong thing as opposed to accepting the right thing, Do you know? So you need to, so work in with you, you can work through those emotions so that you understand that you're surrendering to a higher power, to your higher power as well. And it's really a strength rather than a weakness. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally strength. So yeah, that would be some belief stuff that might have to come up if the, if someone's running that surrender makes you weak. That's because correct. it's like that war thing in the battle. Yes. You surrender, you give up. No, that's no, right, no. right. Yeah. But that's that's good that you point that out because maybe one of these other two people are going to have that running, and then we'll see. Oh, that's interesting, Marion. Yeah. Kind of well, and I'm and I'm certain that part of it was that for me as well. Yeah. Without yeah. you explaining it the way you did and exploring, because if you have even on a subconscious level that feeling in your gut then then it's confusing because you want to surrender because it leads you to a higher strength but you feel that doing that is a weakness right. as opposed to a strength or right. as, as opposed to the healthier things you do for yourself yeah not the confusion as to what is real power surrender is real power yeah right right yeah. anyway okay so let's wrap it up thank you everybody for watching and uh, I'll see you on another video. Bye.